This is the Canon Keys Practice 75 keyboard kit. So you can see this is the top plate. We've also got the obliterated PCB, which is what is used for this board. Uh, not hot swap, so you're gonna need to solder on this one, but definitely has QMK on board, so a uh, huge benefit there. USB-C, also bottom plate. Uh, basically, this is the same as the top, just without uh, cutouts for your switches. So, like if you've seen the Practice 65 video, it's going to be very, very similar, um, just with a 75% layout. So, you know, it's going to be have that open case design, not really built for acoustics, more built just to get someone um, interested that may be interested in the hobby a way in. So, that's really the the layout here. Also comes with a couple of cool stickers. Uh, and Canon Keys was uh, very kind to send me this prototype, so the final version could differ, um, so just keep that in mind. Also comes with some standoffs and some screws um, to hold your PCB and your case apart. You're obviously going to need uh, your stabilizers. I just got uh, cheap ones from K KBD fans, and also, Gateron Browns. Uh, these are tactile. I know people have mixed reviews on those. I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> um, switch, uh, switch puller and soldering iron. We should be able to, to get started here. So first thing I'm gonna do, as always, is test the PCB. So fun fact, <laughs> if you don't have a wire that you can short the pads on this with, uh, you can actually take a switch and hold it in and put the, the legs in, in the holes and just kind of do one of those numbers and it will essentially short out your, your pins to, to show you uh, if, the, if the switch pad works or not. And that's what I'm going to be doing because it's mainly laziness at this point. So we've tested the PCB, everything looks good. Next step is really to start putting it together, um, getting the switches installed into the top plate, and then solder. So this is a really simple keyboard kit to build. I'm gonna be using unlubed GAT Browns. You, this would be the step, part of the, the process where you would want to lube your switches, lube and film them if you want, but I will not be doing that. So really, uh, this process is simple, it's as, easy as just installing the switches into this top plate and making sure that all the pads line up with the legs on your switches. So really what you wanna do is actually just get a few switches placed in your top plate so that you can get them soldered and it will use um, those switches as an anchor point and you don't have to really worry quite as much about the other ones. Um, they can kind of just sit in there until you solder them. So that would be my recommendation for you. Just making sure that I know exactly where my stabs land based on my keycap set. Um, and I would recommend you do the same, make sure you have the right size space bar uh, and everything before you solder. Because once you solder, uh, it, you're gonna have to desolder switches just to get to your stabs again. So there's that and we've got our stabbed up board so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some lube on these and screw them in and call it a day on the stabs at least
I personally prefer screw-in PCB stabilizers. They're just so secure and feel really nice when they're installed. I think it ultimately comes down to preference, but um, if you're new at this and are unsure of what you might like, I would go with just standard screw-in stabilizers. The screw-in ones are going to give you the best chance of a really nice stabilizer experience. So that's why I would recommend those. Also, shameless plug, I, I get no anything from this, but uh, Canon Keys has some really cool kits coming out soon. I would highly recommend you check them out. Um, and plus join their mailing list. They, they provide really regular updates on their group buys and keyboard kits. So um, again, I, I, I am not in any way endorsed by them. They sent me this kit that I'm grateful to be able to build, but I, I'd recommend you check them out if you haven't already. Um, even if it's just one of these uh, practice kits to get it started, or if you want to go uh, full on and and jump in on a group buy that they have, uh, they're they're a good company to work with from from my experience. So, shameless plug. So what I normally do is I go around and hit at least a pin from a bunch of different switches. Uh, and then that will keep, for the rest of the build, that will keep the board at the right height. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna populate the rest of the switches. And uh, solder them up. So when you do this, what you really wanna do is, it's gonna be really hard to get this, you want to hold it like this so you can see the pin, the legs go through the holes. If you don't confirm that they're gonna go through, there's a chance that you could put a switch in and the, the legs could be bent or they could bend on their way in, which is super not fun and flirty. Uh, but then also it's hard to get the switch out and you could ruin it pretty easily. So that's why not only one, make sure that your pins are going straight, but two, buy extra switches when you're parting out your build ahead of time. Okay, we've got uh, almost all of our switches uh, soldered in. Uh, I've left a few out because Canon Keys leaves you uh, actually two pads inside of a few of these uh, holes, essentially so that, you know, depending on the size of your keycaps, you can move your switches around. So I'm gonna finish that up, but then also populate my, uh, my keycaps here. Uh, hopefully you can get an idea of what this looks like. I like the layout already. I, I'm, I think I'll get a better picture of it when the keycaps are on, but um, I, I think it's it's got some nice blocking and spacing for the um, for the arrow keys that some 75% boards don't have. So here's here's why they give you multiple different pad sizes. You've got these are both controls and different size but then this is also control then this is control so like there's all these different sizes and they're trying to make sure that you have the options that you want um, or that you need rather
Okay. We've got everything put together and soldered, so now we're just gonna be screwing these onto the little offsets. So again, this is a 75% a keyboard kit. It is QMK compatible in addition to If you want to add RGB, you can do that. There's uh, pads for LEDs. 75%, uh, nice little blocking down here, which I think it looks really slick. A really great um, starter kit for maybe your first or second board if you're trying to determine if you wanna get going in this hobby or not. And there we go. There's the board. These are just some cheap keycaps key I bought from um, KBD fans. Hey, just wanted to say thank you for watching me build the Canon Keys Practice 75 keyboard kit. Uh, if you'd be so kind as to like and subscribe and leave a comment, uh, maybe recommending another keyboard kit that you'd like to see me build. Thanks.